Hey folks, this is Joel and we'll be looking at analyzing malwares in this particular video. Uh, every manual analysis involves two distinctive steps. The first uh, step which is followed is the static analysis and uh, post that we go for the dynamic analysis or the traffic analysis. So in this video we'll just look into the static analysis part of it and we will take the you know dynamic one probably in the next set of videos all right so let's pick up one of our vulnerable applications to understand static analysis so maybe let's pick up uh, an app called as secret talk right so let me take this up yeah maybe i can install it as well there you go i've installed it and the app basically would look like uh, this over here right so this is how the app looks like um, I'm not gonna press anything down here I just wanted to show you how the app looks like but now let's do the static analysis so the first step I would go ahead and do is I would unzip this particular app so let's unzip this unzip this app uh, into a particular folder which is let's call that as a secret talk right probably secret talk uh, unzip I'm gonna call this a secret top unzip and there you go the unzip has completed okay so these are the set of files which we unzipped it into uh, now a very interesting information which we can get from here is by navigating into this particular folder right the meta folder so as you navigate into that you can see all of these files and uh, now the next step would be to run the key tool because we we intend to understand who developed this application right and sometimes most of the times you can find the information about the author of the app in this particular uh, folder in fact in the particular file called cert.rsa right so we're basically going to run a key key tool print certificate command on this particular certificate and there you go as soon as I ran it I got this information right it says the owner uh, issuer and the information regarding the certificate and so on is obtained here right the next uh, step would be to decompile the app I mean we know that there are many decompilers like apk tool jadax d2j uh, d2j dex to jar kind of decompiler and so on so let's use a couple of them and try to find some information around here right so let me go back out of this right so I'm here right great so let's run um, d2j right so I wanted to show you this particular um, you know interesting uh, application so I'm, I'm gonna run this right so when I run uh, d2j uh, dex to jar and I need to give the information regarding the apk which is this one so the decompiling has started right so decompiling has finished right so if I go to uh, ls al we will basically have uh, a particular jar file created here right now we need to open this jar file in, inside uh, using a particular tool called as JD GUI right so let's go back to my uh, uh, you know Santoku VM which is over here let's go to the Santoku VM over here probably open up uh, the terminal CD desktop and let's go inside the vulnerable apps right so we are supposed to open this particular uh, jar file which we created as part of the dex2 jar right this one yeah so how do we do that we're going to use the jd gui right jd dash gui and it's going to be this one so let's do com dot android secret talk 
dash one dash dex to jar. Uh, okay, so that's a mistake. It was it's supposed to be G. I typed in Q by mistake. Right, so there you go. Yeah. So what we did was we decompiled the APK and now we are using JD GUI. Basically, it gives you like a GUI to go and see the entire uh, code, right, um, of the app. Right, so that's pretty handy, which you can use. Okay, it's not opening up here. Give me a minute. Yeah, over here. So you can see uh, the entire code right of the app or the source code of the app being displayed over here right so uh, you can use this approach right so this is one of the approach for doing the static analysis I mean once you have this information you can now go play around and try to find what this app is doing and you know because you have all the information over here right so this is one way of doing it the other way let's do the next step one more the second step would be or the other way sorry it's not the second step the other way of doing it would be to use a different uh, you know uh, to use a different decompiler right so uh, uh, probably we can use apk tool as well so they can go inside vulnerable yeah so let's use apk tool now so use apk tool name of the decompile the name of the app being uh, um, secret talk so let's pick this up control c control v and dash output and the output folder being i don't know maybe we can call this as secret talk uh, apk tool right so that we have a distinction right there you go so we decompiled it Okay, so we could go inside secret talk apk tool probably see look at the manifest file can you look at the manifest file yeah so you can look at the manifest file and try to find what kind of permission this app is trying to use right so it is trying to use uh, a certain kind of you know uh, uh, you know services over here certain kind of permissions and all of that information can be obtained from this right so that's something very useful right so now let's uh, go back and uh, you know try another decompiler which is the uh, jdx right let's try jdx my bad i think i disconnected yeah so jdx is another decompiler and we could use jdx to decompile the same app which means i will go inside the desktop inside the vulnerable <coughs> apps and let's use jdx the name of the app being uh, com dot android secret talk dot apk and the output folder let's call this as secret talk dash jdx or underscore jdx okay so now we are decompiling using jdx let's wait for a minute takes a bit of time okay it's done you might see some errors and warnings up here but that's fine let's now uh, look into the folder right so let's go into secret talk uh, jdx right so inside this we will go into sources and com right and where do we go next let's go inside android are we done okay so we have to go inside secret talk yes so there you go and uh, now we can look into the source code right so let's uh, do lsal okay so let's probably look at r.java i hope that is what we are interested in mm, okay probably not r.java probably um, we could look into uh, which one broadcast receiver build config okay we could probably look into another uh, file which is maybe sms receiver let's see what this particular file is doing yeah so if you look here 
uh, this is basically an app uh, which is trying to steal the SMS and it is if you look at the uh, email ID over here it is acker Ackerlish Zhang at gmail.com right and with the password and everything hard coded over here so what is trying to do is it is trying to extract all the incoming SMSs which from your phone and it is sending to a uh, you know it is sending to a email ID right probably the attacker's email ID right so we were able to figure that out by looking at the source code great so that is how you basically do static analysis I mean you look you take the app you unzip it try to find who built the app by looking at the certificate right and then you can uh, probably move on to using some of the decompilers and try to understand the source code and uh, look at the permissions as to what the app is trying to do and see if you find if you can find you know some kind of uh, malicious behavior like in this case like how I found the email address being you know uh, defined over here so that all the SMSs all the incoming SMSs are basically sent to the email address right so that was a static analysis uh, in the next video probably we'll be looking into uh, the dynamic analysis or basically the traffic analysis okay thank you